I heard uh, four gunshots consecutively in a row, very loud. I immediately knew something was wrong. I just sort of opened the door and peeked my head out and screamed, is everyone okay? And nobody answered. Chuck pushed the door open and pulled me out of the bathroom. And at that point, he said, you know, we need to get out of here. As we were leaving the house, I tried to look into the kitchen where my mom was cooking dinner. And as I tried to look in there, he pulled my face away so I couldn't see. We got in the car and he drove with the gun pointing at me the entire, entire way. I was trying to be as nice to him as I could be. I had talked to him about going to his parents' house. I said, you know, your dad can get you out of anything. He can hire any attorney, you know, they're a very successful family. When we got to his house, pulled in his driveway, and we came in and his father asked, you know, what was going on? And that's when Chuck had said, you know, I need to speak with you and mom in the bedroom, I'm suicidal. And it was at that point that he went and sat in the corner of the bedroom. And he sat on the floor and pointed the gun to his head and said, I shot her mom, I shot her dad, and now I'm going to shoot myself. I am so grateful that he's no longer with us. I can't imagine what our life would be like if he were still here and we were having to see his face in a courtroom. It is so important to live our lives as a reflection of what our parents taught us. They taught us to be strong. I just hope that people can hear our story and even though it is the ultimate, this, these fatal violent acts are becoming more and more common, you know. Passing this last five year mark, I just throughout the last few years that myself, I was doing okay, I was healed and ready to move forward and, and as much as I am healed and ready to move forward, um, you know, it was still a day of mourning, a day of emptiness, sadness, um, you know, when that clock strikes 615 I couldn't help but relive every moment thereafter. We've just we've come a long way, a long way.